Researchers studying molecular biology observe a eukaryotic cell via electron microscopy. During interface of the cell cycle, they notice 10 nanometer thick chromatin fibers with a beads on a string appearance. These chromatin fibers are extracted and treated with an endonucleus, which preferentially cleaves the string portions of the chromatin. Further evaluation reveals that the beads are composed of DNA wrapped around a core of proteins. The question is, which of the following proteins is most likely found outside this core and promotes chromatin compaction? Your options are choice A, histone H1, choice B, histone H3, choice C, histone H4, choice D, small nuclear ribonucleoprotein, choice E, type 2 topoisomerase, choice F, ubiquitin. Type your answer in the comment box. Congratulations if your answer is A, which is histone H1. Chromatin is made up of DNA, which is negatively charged, wrapped twice around an octamer of histone proteins, which is positively charged. This core of histones is composed of two molecules, each of histones H2A, H2B, H3, and H4. Together, these histone proteins and wrapped DNA are known as a nucleosome. Nucleosomes are separated by a stretch of DNA, or linker DNA, giving them the appearance of beads on a string. This loose structure of DNA organization is about 10 nanometer in diameter and provides a high degree of transcriptional access, euchromatin. The degree to which nucleosomes can be compacted is dynamic and changes based on epigenetic modification, example histone acetylation, and binding of additional DNA structural proteins. One such protein is histone H1, which in contrast to the other histone proteins is located outside the nucleosome core. Histone H1 binds to both the nucleosome and adjacent linker DNA, which facilitates packaging of chromatin into a thicker, around 30 nanometer, more compact structure, also known as heterochromatin, that limits transcriptional access to the DNA. During cell division, chromatin interacts with additional proteins, like nuclear scaffold protein, and undergoes further rounds of coiling, ultimately forming condensed chromosomes. If you chose any option other than A, you were incorrect. Let's briefly discuss the other options. Choices B and C cannot be the answer because histones H3 and H4 are components of the nucleosome core. Choice D cannot be the answer because small nuclear ribonucleoproteins help splice out introns from pre-mRNA, forming mature mRNA. Choice E cannot be the answer because during DNA replication, topoisomerase relieves the tension created during DNA strand unwinding by introducing negative supercoils into the DNA. It does not promote chromatin compaction. Choice F cannot be the answer because ubiquitin is a small protein present in the cytoplasm and nucleus of all eukaryotes. It is typically covalently attached to various intracellular proteins to signal for their degradation by the proteasum, which is known as ubiquitin proteasum pathway. If you're finding this difficult to understand, consider watching this episode again.